Well hi everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to another video and welcome to us having an evening ride out. Say hi. Hi everybody. So today what we're doing is, um, well we're just going to have a gentle puddle out to uh, to Squire's Calf I think. Um, well we'll see how far we get. Has just finished work and we said you know what we've still got um, 100 miles to go however the bike goes in tomorrow to have the valve clearances done for the um, recall I haven't really ridden the bike because of this rattle it's um, as much as everybody's telling me it's all right and it won't do any damage or anything you know I'm not so sure however we have got a warranty so if anything does catastrophically go wrong I'm sure Suzuki will put it right If you haven't seen the other videos, we've changed the DJI mics and they seem to be doing a very, very good job. I noticed today there's a couple of YouTubers, oh, I've said they're packing up YouTube and they're losing their way with it and they're not going to be sending out so many videos. They've been doing one a week and um, Maybe they've just gone on to other, some have gone on to other things and others have just lost their way and unfortunately for me I'm still doing this for me. Yeah they seem to be losing the way and I think I think the problem is that it's like we watch hmm? we watch uh, other channels and the other channels are you know the big ones and they do really really yeah. well. We get ideas and things like that off of them which is great. However, we know we're not going to be them, so we don't try. Um, they're making a living at it, I'm not, and I don't intend to. I'm doing the videos to watch later on in my later years to say, woohoo, look what I did. And maybe show the grandkids one day and bore them silly. <laughs> it's just something to look back on. It's exactly. Nice. And it's a good place to store it all. Might be a time when we can't get out on his bike and we've still well, we've, got the, the video. We've got underlying issues at the moment, so they've only got to get a bit worse and that's the end of that. First trip this year, isn't it? To Squires. Oh yeah, we haven't been this year, have we? I think you lost the love for it, have not you? I did, yeah. Unfortunately, but we found plenty of other places and same with Matlock. We, we haven't really been there this year, have we? Like we used to. Not like we used to. We went when we first bought the bike. We had a run out there, didn't we? Yeah. I, th I think the problem is that it's the same roads, isn't it? Yeah. And you're travelling down the same roads and it becomes the same old, same old. I'll tell you what I have done today, I've ordered a Michelin roadmap of Great Britain. You know, because we're on about doing the Scotland tour. Oh yeah. So I've ordered a, a Michelin roadmap and that will, should open more things up to us, hopefully. We can, what, what you can do is, you know, like we did when we were in France, you can look at somewhere to go to and then get the sat nav to take you there, but it'll be something there to see. We'll find some different things in different places. And we can, yeah, we can both look at it and put reds together and go, do you know what, quite fancy that. 
and then we'll just bang it in the sight and off, off we go. Well that's what we did in France isn't it, we, we looked at the map, we headed out to places, let the sad nav take us and uh, that's the, the one of the times I think it, that system worked really really well. We've not done it since because unfortunately we've got roadmaps of France but sod all of England. Mm. So I thought for a fiver I'll have a Michelin roadmap and we'll see what we can find, we'll see what we can see. And then we can uh, we'll go out on the bike on Sunday. Right, let's have a look on here. And it'll show you the picnic areas and things like that so we can go for our picnics. Instead of just riding along and winging it. Not knowing where you're going and what you're doing. But you miss so much by doing that. Mm. Well, if you've got it in the sat nav where you're going, then you can do what we did in France. Just turn off here, turn off there, go here, go there. And then Google Maps will still get you there when you want to be. Just an idea. See, I'm watching YouTube again. <laughs> Seeing what other people do, and it's what one of the, not even a bike is funnily enough, it's somebody in cars. He gets his map out and he looks where he wants to go to. Gets the sat nav to direct him there. And um, once he's there, or on his way, he just peels off on different roads. And then obviously the sat nav gets him there in the end. Here we go, country lanes are us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and miss out Selby. Because last time I went down there they had lots and lots and lots of roadworks. And it was a bit like Blythe was. That's one thing this is better than the other one at. Cornering. Handling. I'll tell you what, babe, it's nice having you sat where you sat. Mm. Up close and personal. Crossing babe. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. No, it don't do it, does it? it just goes boom. <laughs> <laughs> now when they brought the other one over there it was like, oh wow. Boing, boing. I'm sure when we get it all sorted out it'll be blooming lovely. Still a mega bike. on a roller coaster. <laughs> reasons why we love going to Squires is because uh, you have all these country lanes to get you there and then if you don't want like tonight you don't want to think about oh yeah country lanes and everything you just just jump straight on the A1 
Um, you can be over in 45 minutes. So for an evening ride, it's perfect. Do you know what? It always reminds me. You know what? Do you remember when we came up here and we bought some? We bought something. Was it helmets from here? And we, when we're going back, and it absolutely hammered it down when we went back. And it always seems to do that. You get on that certain part on the A1, and it just absolutely torrential rain. It's like you always have to go through it. Because anybody doesn't know that Squires has actually got a um, shop behind it, and it's quite good in it. So they get, you get some decent stuff in there. I can't remember what we bought. I know you ended up with two big bags. remember whether you bought what some clothing from there or Didn't we some buy helmets. His helmet from there? I think we did, yeah. Oh, it was the um, the K2s, wasn't it? Yeah. Black ones. You ended up with them. What? I, I don't even know how you carried them back. <laughs> I don't, but I did. You did. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good, is it? I'm just being lazy. <laughs> Let's hope so, eh? Poor bloke looks petrified. He didn't do. <laughs> still a biker, though. Hey? He's still a biker. I think he's still trying to talk to me, but I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not having it. Please turn around when you have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Do a U-turn. You haven't gone round the house in the state I was trying to send you round. <laughs> but Joe, you didn't have that old uh, sat nav that we used to have. It used to shout at you. Oh yeah, <laughs> the old Tom Tom. Yeah. yeah. Do a U-turn! <laughs> okay. You are all sweet when I went the right way, weren't you? <laughs> Wait, convenient. All right. Yeah. Chill your beans. Road ahead closed. Oh, okay. Oh, that one. That's been closed for a while now. I'm pleased about that. That woman pulled out of there once and knocked us off, didn't she? Yeah. Do you remember, do you remember it? Yeah. We come, yeah. we, come, we come this way over the bridge and she went, oh, why are you in my way? Oblivious. <laughs> yeah. You know, little Fiat 500. Funny, it's funny how I remember um, incidents like that. Because they were close. That was very close. Mm. I mean, to try and put it to you, the people who are watching the video, uh, we were here and she was there. She's <laughs> just pulled out. 
luckily nothing was coming the other way. We had to literally go round her. And I said literally a lot then, didn't I? We did. Oh well. Well the new estate going up. Always at the edges of villages, aren't they? Yeah. And here we go. the open road At this point he realised he got no idea where he was going. <laughs> oh, it's raining over there. <laughs> There's nothing anywhere. Workers. Workers. Okay. Maybe. Might be yeah, a maybe. special bus for that place. Yeah, maybe. Seems it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Bluebells. They're a bit late, aren't they? These party bands, what are they? I'll tell you in a minute. I was just saying, I'm waiting. <laughs> We don't mind either. <laughs> Lavender. Lavender, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that that makes you go sleep. <laughs> yeah, Lavender. That goes into Selby. I'll know when we get to the next island because what I did last time I went down there then I ended up in the town centre again which kind of um, kiboshed the whole thing and then I had to turn
turned left and then came back up and I came up to an island up here. Where? Hang on, when did you see Winterbelt. that? Where? This way. This way. That's, it. that's right, that's right, then we're nearly there then. I did uh, get it right. You did, well done. Yeah, I did get it right. Stay there. I know it was getting a bit. Um... Stop nudging. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what they hope to achieve by that, or whether they're going to think you speed up for it, because the first thing you do is slow down, you think you're going to blow up. He's trying to get his boat home started. Obviously getting it ready for it to go away. He'll struggle to get it started with the car, I don't know that much. His accident around here. You were parked in there. Who? Me came up. Went, yeah, Mick, them lads I went out with from. Uh, oh. What's that? Said he came off. It was just there that he was. Uh, it's, well, that's where he landed anyway. Right, this should be Monk Fryston. I've done me due diligence right. minutes away babe. You okay? Yeah. I'll fill up on the A1 on the way back. We'll go straight down the A1 going home. Okay. I'm gonna have to stretch my boots, that's what it is. Okay. To be honest, I'll be honest with you sweetheart, I'm kind of ready as well. But we've been on about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters, something like that. So it's not bad. Well, I've been this way before, I remember it now. You remember this bit, right yeah. Here, don't you? That's right, yeah, yeah. There you go. Stay there. <laughs> I'm sure you telling me is not going to help them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes you aware. <laughs> oh, I'm aware anyway. Not that you don't know anyway. There, remember this. Good. Ooh. I don't remember a lorry being here though. come this way baby no no matter what, we have actually cut quite a chunk off as well to be fair yeah. coming down yeah but I think it's a better way because you're not going through uh, Selby and uh, that other that other side town that we go through and I think it's actually better this way the way we just come anyway and I've quite enjoyed it and you've had a new road as well that's nice
even know if it's not open when we get there, it'll be well pissed. <laughs> Chip shop. <laughs> pub. Find a pub somewhere. You alright, babe? Yep, fine. I'm all good. Right, everyone, if you do come this way, a nice little waiting point for the police. It's just in here. <laughs> and they hide. And you come by, and if you're doing anything slightly untoward, they come after you. Or in there. And they're really, they'll even chase you into Squire's car park. Which is always that a bit disconcerting. And they try and say it's for safety, it's not for safety at all. I'm just saying, get money out of you. So, especially on a Sunday or a bank holiday. This is Squires, not many in. Mm. Just give you a little look round. There's a few. I don't know if Monday night's a bike night or not. But yeah, Squires Cap. Okay then guys, well she's just about to do a thing. Oh, what? She's just about to do a thing. 1.6 mile and she's running. Uh, here we go. There you go, she's running. Hey, bless her. That's it, she's all in, she's all done. Well, we're just leaving Squires as you can see, and um, we just had the meat pie, chips, and peas. I've got to say, plenty of it. Um, proper chips I don't know why they've got a load of gravel down here but they have yeah proper chips uh, and usual Squires coffee mm, so what did yummy. you think babe? yummy 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 what are you scoring it? Uh, I'm gonna give it an 8 an 8 yeah. yeah I'm gonna give it an 8 as well not the best food we've had, but certainly not the worst. And um, just typical Squires. Squires food never changes. Massive uh, menu in there for you to choose from and everything else. But listen, guys, we're going to uh, take the quick way home. So I'll be totally honest with you. It'll be boring as all for you. So uh, I'm going to say goodbye now. Say goodbye, Tess. Bye, Tess. <laughs> hey, <laughs> everyone's a winner, baby. <laughs> And we'll see you in a future video. You look after yourselves. Don't forget, subscribe. Hit the bell. And we'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Look after yourselves. Bye, Bye. for now.